Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with less options in classes, equipment, less hit points and stronger enemies. Time for Operation Doom Shriek where we're trying to sabotage an alien facility. I want to proactively stop the Doom Clock from occur occurring. And we are taking our B team, Zirkim, Toxic, Sukuger, Lockdown. Primus is hopefully finally getting his upgrade and Sandman is going to scout for them. As always, we have the B items and soon-ish, I promise, we will have the means to build more equipment. Matter of fact, you know what? I mean, let's go only cost supplies, right? And we're so currently okay on supplies. So let's go for one over uh, drive serum and one refraction field, both of which we can afford. And who would we give that to? So the overdrive serum, of course, to our melee monster Zirkim here. Love it. And the refraction field, which allows you to become invisible again. That's actually something that I would love to get up onto him. But I think we still haven't unlocked that extra equipment slot. So tough luck in which case, since there are no losses here, we might go with a refraction field on the sniper. Or, or on Zirkin. Nah, he already got the overdrive serum. Okay. Got some new items to play with. Not sure if I'm going to use them. At the end, they still cost quite a bit of money. But if I find a great situation where they are worthwhile to use, then I'm going to do that. The refraction field isn't too bad on Zirkim as well. Essentially, it will give him the option for some one-time bonus to hit. But is a one-time bonus to hit worth 100 uh, supplies? Arguably not. Good. What is definitely worth 100 supplies is the scouting ability of our Reaper. Nothing. And we're moving up into nothing again. Physical exertion outpoint. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. Toxic moves up. Zirkim, given that he is well hidden, can Auto. take the front. This elite gunslinger. Take some good cover over here. Awkward position to stand in the middle of uh, that waterfall. Up here is a fantastic sniper nest. So we're moving forward. I'm not expecting anything to happen this turn. It is a relatively large map and not many enemies. I haven't checked what the ty what types of enemies were up against beforehand. Should have potentially. I go where you tell me. Reaper moves out. I will always and apparently you. we're. We've scouted an Archon. Two Valkyries, right? No, that's not a Valkyrie. What? Andromedon Prime. Ah, don't want to fight them. An Archon Sentinel. Fun fact about the Andromedon Primes, though, is they have acid as a weapon type. So if you wear a Hesmes West, you are immune. Archon Sentinel, on the other hand. Okay, cool. Well... I suppose we're just going to block your I have sight beyond vision. your uh, movement up there, and thankfully <coughs> I didn't move in further. This unit 
Good. Starting, starting to position a bit more aggressive. We're moving into that beautiful sniper nest that I was talking about. And Zukuger moves up all the way to here as well. So I like the high ground. I feel light on my feet. Come get some. Let's not mess around with the Andromedon yet. But if we do have a super heavy turret, that could mess around with the Andromedon. Very much so. 60% chance in taking it over, thank, uh, thanks to that level 3 upgrade. And guess what? Super heavy turret is ours. And we can even take shots. Cool. Claymore would allow us to work uh, with uh, that guy. Refraction field. I've never ever used it once so far. So if anyone... It's potentially not a clever idea. Because they will not come that close. Out of curiosity, if we were to like shred them with a rocket launcher, that would deal a lot of damage. And remove Almost all of uh, their, all of almost all of their armor. Five blips of armor, two of which can be, um, can already be reduced by the claymore. Two further will be reduced by the rocket launcher. This here is a bit like poking the bear. Overwatch covering fire. Okay, cool. Trying to hit that guy. Nothing. Okay. Trying to hit him again. We have established that you don't want to fuck around with uh, that Andromedon. Archon Pri uh, Andromedon Prime. Archon Sentinel, on the other hand, free sniper shot. Hmm. Unfortunately, a miss. That's affirmative. We're slightly moving up again. I don't want to be seen yet. Are we going to use the bombardment as well? Might as well because the Andromedon is, uh, or the uh, um, yeah, the Andromedon Prime is a real menace. I do not want to deal with it if I can avoid it. Oh, 
good. So much for the super heavy turret. It took that guy two shots. And the super heavy turret was gone. Okay, they don't they shouldn't know where exactly we are. You will never hide from me. Even and more enemies. Up. Fantastic. Well, we do have squad side, luckily. On the other hand, unfortunately. We can't see the We can't see the Andromedon. Position Moving into a better position and this here should Ah, uh, it will trigger three overwatch shots. No 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 no. We're not going to do that. Comet Protocol will deal damage to the Prime. And it might it might move, which will give us the chance to hit it afterwards with a sniper. Base nicely in the corridor. Stays nicely in that corridor where it can't be seen. Nope, that is just barely out of range. I really think it might be more efficient to fully overwatch here instead of trying to go for these guys. The normal sniper shot, of course, will work out. That's fine. We're going to overwatch though. He still should not know where exactly we are. Toxic moves over here so that we're not clustering up. Oh boy. Oh. Worst possible timing ever. Oh boy. we can do is we can ignite both of them it'll shred and it will remove at least the blazing pinions options good and they will get technical analysis so they should have a problem dealing with uh, with the burning the incinerary bomb starts becoming better and better Okay, of course, we're taking some damage in return. Ridiculous. Ridiculous how these things play out. Okay, we potentially got an evac here um, on the spark. I don't want to take too much damage onto the spark. 
We will get through the rest. So that's not the end of the world. But the acid damage, that is a problem. My weapon is nearly depleted. Good. We're going to evac, like I said, acid damage. You don't want to uh, you don't want to mess with that. Good, the shields are gone, which means Prime is vulnerable. Two, four, six, seven. It's not a hundred percent kill. Good, moving down. This might be a better chance. Come on. Good. Time to deal with the Archon. Got one, two, three, four more rounds, and I don't want uh, Zirkim to be spotted out. Unfortunately, we can't move him away, so face off is not an option. But we can go for the Sentinel, though. Let's try to hit the Archon. This could be a kill. Come on. Fantastic. Almost 20 points of damage. That's what I'm talking about. Do we have an auto loader here? No, we don't. Uh, which means we're going to use that opportunity to over uh, to uh, um, to reload. And slightly go back in order to not trigger that other pack that prime is punching quite a bit above its weight class all right let's some yes shotgun what it, whoa, 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 wait a sec, okay, okay, hold on for a moment, funny pants, so you are telling me that they will get an action whenever they are getting hurt, even with Bladestorm, and I had an Overwatch on top of it, that is ridiculous, Overwatch Serum, There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now we got enough armor. Holy macaroni. Who had the med kit, by the way? Good. We're blocking the way up here.
Wait a second, we do have run and gun. Let's take let's take advantage of that. Blocking that other way. <clears throat> And Zuhuger. It's going to move around. And eventually will provide fire support. Holy shit, did he seriously just remove the Overwatch and do his thing? Oh, wow. And why exactly did we not have... Why exactly did we not have... A medkit here? Did I forget to bring a medkit? Okay, well... Couple of learnings. I mean, I'm still new to the... A better advent uh, mod. Scanning. Couple of learnings here, okay? Number one, I would have not moved back and just let it move up here. I was I was assuming it would move up. Uh, then it used all of its movement, blade storm and um, and Overwatch. That's 15, 18 points of damage. So the logic behind it was. Um, softening it up so that it essentially can't do anything and next round we would kill it but boy oh boy it defied expectations to say the least moving away from the fire Watching comes naturally. and kill zone just in case or likely not going to hit anything, but who knows. Let's do this. Locked and loaded. Okay, so yet again, let's refocus here. Zirkim still has a power spike. We maybe want to Let's use that. that. He has improved movement, lots and lots of armor for one more round after that What's over there? Toxic can move up as well and we should Overwatch and Overwatch That whole pack was crazy. Think about it. I mean, we did almost everything in our power to deal damage to the uh, to the Andromedon ruler before it happened. But that shell still got all the way to us and hit us for like, what, 20? No, oh, no, not that much. 10. But almost killed uh, killed him right away. That was low-key stupid. 50-50. Nope, not getting it. We got a heavy assault right there. Let's teamwork over. Uh, the overdrive serum is unfortunately gone. It was a bit of an a bit of an emergency use. We do not have combat protocol left over. That is lamentable because I was hoping we could combat protocol that mech. It is what it is. Can't fully reach anyone. So I also can't set them up. 
Trying to hit the Stun Lancer. Who decides to dodge instead? I think we're going to Overwatch here. Toxic could run into half cover, wouldn't want to do that. I generally like his... no. Look at that. It, it, the game offers me to move to here, right? But that would be straight through acidic territory. If you're not manually doing everything, the game is trying to... To, uh, to get you into trouble. Can't hit him, so we're going to overwatch. And Toxic could start to suppress him, because why not? Won't be able to, uh, to do anything meaningful, but... I guess overall we should be fine. Come on, let's hit it. That's a good hit. What am I doing here? I'm busted. They got me. Wow. You could have gotten to the obvious target, but Apparently, he didn't want to do that. And we're up for some more fun. I can give it a try. And we're up for some more fun. Good, let's analyze the situation. So Cougar could remove that threat by himself, and I think that's a good idea. Still up. Target is still up. Unfortunately, we failed to do it. Okay, cool. Shit happens. Still got a flashbang that we could use. Can't hit him, unfortunately. In terms of sniper angles, uh, these are the only ones that we do have. Sirkim is highly under fire. And we have a mech that we need to deal with. Good. Moving over here. Let's uh, start to shred the mech. Taking the 100% shot here. I didn't get through the main. All right, the mech is almost down. Reloading into lightning hands. Not a real good chance to hit this guy. What we call a Sky Ranger, he's pretty exposed and he can't even get into. Requesting emergency evac. He can't even get into a solid position. Okay, I'll consider it. Not sure why we can't hit the mag, but we gotta deal with it literally right away.
I could use him as a sacrificial lamb and let him stand in the open. That way it's more likely he's getting hit. No damage abilities on Zukuger, not right away. So our prime focus needs to be to deal with a stun lancer first. One way of how we could achieve that is by moving here and essentially accepting that Zirkim will get out and we're, we're saving him. But I'm, I would be giving up quite a bit of firepower by not pushing it. Those two guys are the last ones on the map. Question is, can we do them with the remaining forces? Biggest problem still remains uh, the stun lancer okay so axe into the mech that at least sets it up and this hopefully is going to kill him Going out. Two low percent chances to hit him. Toxic. I'm trusting you Can't really do much. Out here. So we're getting out. That's unfortunate. If we were to move over to here, how much? Nah, that's not enough damage. That's a hundred percent kill if we're if we're hitting. That's a miss. another miss okay okay we could flashbang him we could give ourselves a protocol I'm not seeing that many options here. Trying to fight back, but the bolt launcher, uh, the bolt uh, launcher, is a difficult beast. Could move up to here. Not the worst idea. It's only available to the stun lancer. And we have enough hit points to to withstand one hit. We're down to a few pieces on the map. And it's certainly not getting better by being bombarded. Oh, <laughs> shotgun stun lancer, okay. These guys are playing rough. Can't move due to the elite officer. to clean uh, this up first things first oh one five you're near the 
target position. Another pack, okay. Five to six. What are we dealing with? Yeah, that that's a kill. Remember, they are not victims. We have ammunition available. Now we fight in the open. We're winning the goal. Fifty fifty. Perfect timing for a comet protocol, by the way, if we had one. A bit of an overkill for this guy, but nonetheless good that he's finally down. Twenty percent chance of critting, and that would be a kill. More unfortunately, not. using a grenade <sighs> okay that might be the next one that we need to evac question is can we continue with Zukuger yes or no is he still having it in him Johnny you gotta stay for now buddy because if I let you go that would be a real problem He's no longer burning because he touched water. The enemy is too far away. We could try to position ourselves here for now. Alright, overwatching. I need the, the re-stealth uh, to actually win the mission. Can't do it without. Says I am to obey. So we're just going to overwatch for now. And hope that he will not shoot Johnny. There we go. Started to shred him. This is becoming bloodier and bloodier by the minute. Nice hit. My life is in your hand. Shit, I should have reloaded. Don't have an outloader, right? No, we don't. Oh. Ready to rock. Good. Overwatch here. And reload. Sucks, but it is what it is. At least we're in full cover. He may flee. No, they don't flee. I don't want to die like this. They just want to dish out some more damage. And elite officer is down. By the numbers. So it's reloading. Restealthing. I can tell you guys this is being more difficult than I anticipated it to uh, to be at the beginning Not too far. mainly because like I mentioned we don't have a really good way of dealing with those primes they are dishing out substantial uh, damage more than I would have anticipated and some of the mechanic also 
does not work as it should. It, in my perspective, it's wrongly implemented. The the way that um, the whole thing here should have worked is you never gain rulers never gain actions on their turn. It only happens on your turn. So when he has moved up, the um, the Bladestorm as well as the Overwatch should have just uh, gone up, and that that'll be it. No extra ability from their side. Nothing. Okay, it's pretty obvious at this point we're not going to go through the last pack without resources or anything. So what we're going to do instead is getting out of here, exactly. Okay. Well, that is doable even without being stealthed. So planting the C4. Status one five. Status confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point. And it's not surprising at all that we have triggered. See you later, guys. <laughs> and let's just get out of here. My battle is over. Oh, boy. What a slugfest. What a slugfest. The, the main issue, indeed, was uh, the Andromedon Prime. Holy shit, what an enemy. As long as there's even one Reaper left standing. 40 days for Primos to get back into shape. Oh, that is bad. Good. Gravely wounded. 10 days, 12 days, 6 days, 6 days. And Primos is not even promoted. Your troops performed admirably, Commander. Destroying that facility will slow the aliens' development of the Avatar project. I sh I just should have solo ran that mission. Movement. Commander, I should have just solo ran that mission with the Reaper. Get in, get out, facility done. I'm not sure. Build faster will not repair our um, our spark faster 40 intel we do not have enough for that 160 intel well certainly not enough for that Avenger plotting new course and funnily enough after that little skirmish we're now in a worse position because our B team will require 10 days of rest. And as if the game would have uh, would have sniffed it out, it throws us a Codex Prime, an Archon Sentinel, a Sectopod, and lots and lots of uh, difficult enemies. I like it. Who is supposed to deal with that shit, though? Primus has like six hit points. Oh boy. Dangerous to take him onto the, uh, onto a mission. He's like really really hurt. On the other hand, I would want to get him leveled up. But I guess same here. Secundus also 
I guess you can't do that when they are almost dead. So maybe we're going to see a non. I need a spark for for shredding, so I cannot go without a spark. But I could leave him really in the background ish. So we're going to see sharpshooter specialists and I think Jarangs and Wrong Planet again. It's kind of the C team that has developed now. Could also take Meltdown uh, with us, but that is already a kernel. So yeah, we're going to take the C team onto the next mission as the B team has just gotten his teeth kicked in. Hey commander. In terms of building something that's meaningful, overdrive serum worked super well. We're going to do that again. Rage armor. Hmm. Still need still need more resources. Yeah, we're we're missing Alarium and Alien Alloys. That's the biggest uh, that's the biggest shortcoming. Work is well and it would also be fine if we finally get the plasma lands, as that would round up our weapons. I've seen members of the crew In terms the of the scar. In terms of resistance ring projects this month, haven't checked yet what we're dealing with. Oh, that's a nice one. Uh, contact is made instantly, but it comes a little bit late. We got a form soldier's bond, that is good because that's what was missing. Yeah, of course we don't know the details of the mission yet. And that resistance order isn't bad either. Finally, I think we want to hunt the hunter. Problem is that we are having uh, the chance of a captured soldier, which I don't like at all. At some point we gotta bite the bullet though because this is not going to get better. I think the details of the mission are always the same. So one soldier eventually will get captured. We're just not going to use the prime team in order to do it. We need to put a major in here. So potentially one of uh, the purchased uh, soldiers that we're going to put in here. But yeah, the, the number one... Um, the number one priority is going to be form a bond and then whatever else uh, we're going to get is bony good that brings us to the end of today's episode uh, we are definitely seeing a bit of a stronger end game with show of force that increases the pot size um, many 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 dark events at the same time alien alloy paddings and so on just to make them more tanky and on the other hand our inability to use items that um, that control the CC uh, which typically prevent you from taking damage at all so frost bomb is locked in the uh, to the prime uh, for the primary team the uh, chosen weapons are locked to the uh, primary team so we're kind of dealing with those niche items and eventually it's a back and forth um, which makes for an interesting gameplay i'm not going to um, lie about that it uh, just feels a bit harsh to always be hit down to like three hit points ish and then uh, needing to decide are we now going to continue or is it going to be yet another kill i am surprised that for now the memorial wall stays relatively low johnny five had been uh, killed and halo had been killed that's it for this run so far but we had a lot of near-death scenarios good if you enjoy a big fat uh, end game slugfest uh, then this is the run for you leave a comment and a like down below and see you on the next run guys bye bye